Mm. It tastes like authentic. Like I literally think it's even more flavorful than takeout. It is 10 out of 10, a thousand percent. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Maya from Low Carb Love. Now, most of you know that I've lost over 100 pounds by making healthier versions of some of my favorite foods. So today, I'm gonna to show you how I make broccoli beef. Now, broccoli beef is one of my absolute favorite foods. I grew up eating broccoli beef from like local takeout, like Chinese takeout, from Panda, from all the places. And um, of course, I had to learn how to make it. Now, the way I make it, super clean, very, very minimal ingredients, but literally tastes for real, for real, I'm not even joking. That tastes just as good, if not better, than the stuff that I ate growing up. Which of course, we all know it's no secret that a lot of the takeout has a bunch of just ingredients that we do not wanna be putting into our, our gut. Because once you mess up your gut, it's over. You have to go through a whole, you know, just a whole journey. This meal right here is gonna be made in the air fryer. So very minimal ingredients already. I kinda laid it out just so you could see. Now, you could pretty much use like any type of steak. This one for me literally just makes life so much easier. It's beef shaved steak. That's it. It's like usually what's um, what they use for the little ch uh, Philly cheesesteaks. That's what <laughs> like what they have on here. It's so, so easy because I don't have to cut it. I don't have to. It's like nice and tender. I feel like one of the one of the things that kind of throws us off sometimes when we're making the broccoli beef is like you don't want chewy meat. Like I do not want to make broccoli beef and it'd be all chewy. So everything's gonna be made in the air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, you can make this stove top. Um, you could even make it in a little toaster oven. You could do, make it in the oven, but like the two ways that I'm making it is for sure either in the air fryer or on the stove because I like a little bit of crispiness on the meat. Like I want it to feel like I don't want it to, I feel like if you bake meat, I don't know, it's just not the vibe for me. Or maybe I don't know how to do it right. But the two things I'm using is air fryer or stove top. Okay, so the first thing, just bag broccoli, okay, whatever. You could use um, just a head of broccoli and kind of break it up. For me, I just get bags because they're easy. Guys, I have such a busy schedule. Like a lot of times when I'm done and I'm literally just trying to make, you know, make a good meal because sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I have like snacky dinners but most of the time I do try to make um, something that is full of protein, that is nice and healthy. This has a ton of fiber, it has a ton of protein, and best of all, it just tastes absolutely delicious. Okay, so I'm just gonna place the meat right over, kind of trying to spread it because I do want it to get like nice and golden brown. So this is obviously a lot of meat, but I like to save the rest, so whatever we don't eat. This is also great to serve with some cauli rice. You can serve for the family with, you know, some white rice, brown rice, whatever you typically use. Okay, so I have the meat. I kind of distributed the meat as best as I could. And broccoli beef doesn't typically have onions, but I love onion and this is my broccoli beef. So I'm adding um, onion. And of course we need a good amount of garlic. I picked up this garlic at my local um, Costco and it's just like toasted garlic. If you don't have it, um, just use powdered garlic, minced garlic, fresh garlic. And I'm still gonna go in with a little extra garlic powder. Little onion powder. If you have fresh ginger, then use some fresh ginger. I don't, but I do have powdered ginger. So we are gonna use powdered ginger. If you like a little bit of spice, then you will do some chili flakes to your liking. So you can do soy sauce, you can do tamari, you can do coconut aminos. I am using coconut aminos. Just because I'm gonna add a little bit of tamari because coconut aminos are really sweet and I do want the saltiness. And then we have a little bit of fish sauce little fish sauce, and then I'm not gonna do the salt just because I did add the um, tamari, but for sure we're gonna go in with the pepper. But if you don't use tamari and you only use coconut aminos, remember coconut aminos is a little sweeter, so you do want a salt and pepper to taste. I did use the coconut aminos. I'm only gonna do a teeny tiny bit of honey. And now to mix it, 
Just make sure you add a little bit of oil. I'm using a little bit of avocado oil. And now let's go ahead and give it a toss. So today I definitely added a good amount of meat and broccoli because I do want enough for the familia. Okay. Perfect. So everything is nice and mixed. So now I'm just going to throw this into the air fryer. I'm going to do it at 400. I'll check it at about 15 minute mark, show you what it looks like. And meanwhile, I will do the rice and do everything else that is going to go along with this meal. So 400, I'll do it at 20, but I'll check it in about 15 minutes. And then to make life even easier, unless you're feeding like a lot of people, then obviously you can cook a pot of rice. I like to do a little side salad because unless there's only pretty much like one week out of the month where I eat, where I eat more carbs. If I do, then I'll do a white rice, uh, quinoa. I love sweet potato. Those are kind of like my complex carbs that I'll have. But if you have your family that's not trying to do low carb, not trying to, you know, lose any weight, you can do rice for the whole familia and then do whatever you do for yourself. But I think it just makes life easier that way. So this one here, meanwhile, that's ready. I'll probably put this, I'll probably cook this in about maybe about 15 minutes. And then I'm going to put my entire broccoli beef bowl together. But guys, that is pretty much it. Now I can just clean everything up. My meat is cooking. My rice will cook within one minute. If you want to do any type of side, like a little salad or veggies or whatever, then you can just make that while this is cooking. But that is how easy it is to put a broccoli beef dish together. Mm -hmm. I know. Let me know if you have other like Asian dishes that you have always wanted to make and you're like a little intimidated where you just feel like, oh, I don't know if it'll come out. Um, one of the things I've always wanted to make that I haven't is yet is a Kung Pao chicken. So if that's something that you want to see, let me know and then we will make it together. But anyway, while that's cooking, I'm just going to clean this up and then just wait until I show you the final product. Okay. So I'm going to make my broccoli beef bowl in there. Rice was done in one minute. My broccoli beef is all done. Look at that. So good. Look at how nice and juicy this is. Mm, 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 mm. You do your cauli rice, your veggies, whatever you want to use right here. Okay. All right. So you have your base. So whatever it is, I always like to add a lot of broccoli because it usually um, cooks down. So I could have added a lot more broccoli. Some people like a lot, a lot of meat. I do too, but I really, really love having um, a lot of broccoli. I got all that protein. Mm. And finish it off with a little sriracha. And final, this is the grand finale, some sesame seeds. Look at that. Literally from start to finish, it takes about, I would say max 20 minutes, but you can make your entire family some broccoli beef bowls. You can make like a veggie broccoli beef, a salad broccoli beef. I just wanted to share this recipe with you because I grew up eating broccoli beef and once I went low carb, I realized how many ingredients are in a broccoli beef that you would think like it's just beef and broccoli, but it has flour and it has just inflammatory oils and it's just so easy to make at home. And here is the final product. So I'm super, super happy. And of course I have to do a little taste test. So I don't want to mess this up because I have to take a photo, but here you go. Cheers. Mm. Oh my God. I'm telling you, it's so full of flavor. I literally think it's even more flavorful than takeout and not in a bad way. I'm talking about like, mm, it tastes like authentic. Like it is 10 out of 10, a thousand percent. If you love broccoli beef, even if you're not living a low carb lifestyle, even if you're not trying to lose any weight, this is just a great addition to your like weekly rotation because who doesn't love broccoli beef? I mean, seriously, broccoli beef, broccoli chicken. There's just so many easy recipes. Um, I share a lot of things on Instagram as well. So if you don't follow me on there, go check them out. I have a ton of like super easy dinner ideas on there that are low carb, they're weight loss friendly and um, just clean, really clean dinners that are super, super delicious. So. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Um, I'm going to leave it linked in the description below. Make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to hit the little bell notification so that you're reminded every time I post a video, just like this one. 
and share, share my channel, share these recipes with friends and family, whether they're diabetic, trying to lose some weight, or really just trying to make healthier choices in their life. But thank you so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.